Tom Cotter has a dream of taking his career to the next level, and he is certainly on his way. Ultimately, with a comedian, it's choice of material. Tonight, I'm going to choose a judge at random to pick a subject at random, and then off I go. That's where my head is right now. Spinning. Tonight, I give you comedy on demand where I relinquish control of my material. Howie, will you please pick a topic? Are you serious? I am serious. Oh, oh my God. Uh, college, I never went. Tell me about it. College? <laughs> yeah. Not parenting? <laughs> Damn you, gentlemen! <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> college it shall be, Howie. College for me was the best 28 semesters of my entire life. I, I don't want to brag, I went to Columbia, I worked for a drug cartel, then I went to community college, and I was a political science major, I had a minor, her name was Debbie, and I got in some trouble for that. I, uh, I had a 3.0, that was my blood alcohol level. Junior year, I studied abroad, her name was Lucy. <laughs> she had arthritis, and I, uh, I used to fall asleep in class, and my professors hated that because I sleep naked. But I loved college. I really did. College kids now are different. I call them kiddiots. They, uh, they pierce everything, right? Nose piercing, which is a great look until you sneeze and put someone's eye out. Some of the girls get the tongue piercing, right, with the metal spike through the tongue, which is why I had parts of my body magnetized. And is that out loud? Nipples. Young people pierce their nipples. I could never. I wore a clip-on. I could never. And they get tattoos, right? Everybody has to have tattoos. And the girls all get them in the lower back, upper buttocks. And it's always something beautiful like a, a bird or a butterfly emerging from the cocoon of the butt crack, right? We've all seen that. Which makes a lot of sense because we've all had butterflies fly out of our butts, haven't we, Howie? Swarms of them. And it's a beautiful butterfly. Do you know why? Because she's 19 years old. But 30 years from now, that's going to look like a moth that's slammed into a windshield, isn't it? I'm Tom Cotter, and I approve this message. Tom Cotter. Fine job, sir. Mr. Mandel. I can't say anything but OMG. That's amazing, because as I said in the package, it's all about material. I chose your material. You didn't know what was coming. You had to be on, deliver it. It, it, was, it was like you've been rehearsing that bit for years. That was amazing. You also deserve votes. Howard. You know, I, I, I've got to make sure this was for real, 100%. Can I see that board again? All right, I'm going to pick something out. I just want to hear one joke from one of them, politically incorrect. It's a long joke. Uh, hot summer in New York. I feel bad for the homeless people. That's what we call them now, homeless. When I was a kid, we didn't call these people homeless. What do we call them? Bums, hobos, tramps. But that wasn't sensitive enough. So now they're the homeless. Next year, outdoorsmen. I think we should try that. Or <laughs> field collection agents. See, this is why you're amazing. This is a guy, I know I've been tough tonight, I've said some negative things about people's favorites. They can't all be great. We're starting to weed out some people. If you don't get the votes, then something's really off with the show. You're terrific, you're professional, you're funny, you're, you're a sensation. I love you. Sharon. Yeah, Tom, you know what? Not only are you a really good guy, you are an amazing comic. You are absolutely amazing. I loved your, I loved your material to light. It was slightly more edgy, and I'm dirty, and I like it to be really, really dirty. It was great. A dirty girl. All right, Tom. Now, even in rehearsal, you did the same thing and did a completely different act because they chose something totally different on the board. Does this come from just so many years of doing this. It comes from psychosis, and I want to say this. Before, if I looked like I was crying in the video, I want my kids who are here to know that Daddy was maced. I was pepper sprayed during, 
I was not crying. Daddy was not crying, but if you want to vote for Tom Cotter, call 1-866-60-AGT-11. That's one 866 248 Or you can go online to NBC.com and vote. Voting will be open in just a few minutes from now.